Good morning. Whoa. We spent the first night in the car tonight and we slept really well. I can't believe how well we slept. Anyways, I'm currently in Lapland, just past the Arctic Circle yesterday. So we are here and today we're going to continue up further north and uh, tomorrow we should be in Norway if things go according to plan. So I started driving the other day. I went to my grand aunt's place. I left uh, Alma there. I spent the night there and then I started yesterday driving up north and now we are here in Lapland and yeah. I found my this night's spot and this is freaking awesome I, I I will take some drone footage because it's impossible to really show the beauty with this camera I guess um, Sylvie has something to say what do you have to say they found mud Yeah, you were tied there. They found mud. Look at the paws, they just need to <laughs> look at her. Look, look at her. Sylvie. <laughs> So far, no one else here. But as last night, there might be people still coming in. At l I mean, I think it was 10 p.m. or something when last night I got company. But it was really peaceful night also. I've kinda grown fond to this car camping after one night. So great. So while they are waiting for their food, I will give you a tour of my setup. So um, this is my first time car camping ever. Um, I've seen videos of other people do that. I've seen people live in their cars. Um, obviously I have two dogs. It's a bit of a challenge. It looks a bit messy. That's a dog toy. So this is basically dog space. But Rosa did sleep on my side. So this is my sleeping pad. There's some random stuff between the mattress and the thing. Uh, the, that bag will be there. But it's now there because I still need some water, which you can see from there. Um, I will put it there when I go in. There's my... Um, stove, eating equipment. Um, so this is basically how it is. I have two season sleeping bag back and it worked fine last night. We'll see. It's cooler here. So we'll see how that works. Not plenty of space, but it's enough. I have the darkening film thing, the darkest version you can get. But uh, my front windows have this kind of like bucket. net. Um, it's kind of like a hood. And then I put a piece of uh, 
cut mattress here because I noticed it doesn't prevent people from staying inside. The same mattress is here. Um, it's uh, kind of like foil on the other side and just a normal foam thing on the other side. Everything is in my front uh, bench, but I make sure I have uh, access from back to front to drive if there is an emergency. To have space back, I have everything here, but the driver's seat is empty. And I will leave my shoes here and the other shoes are back. Yes, I know you are hungry. You still need to wait for a bit. So that's my usable water container. It has a tap. I also have another one here behind the mattress. You can only see the dog's brush uh, there. Um, it's currently empty, so I need to refill tomorrow. Uh, there's also dog's food, both underneath that. Also, I forgot to show you the other side where my food is. This is my cooking and eating equipment. Under here I have my food containers, two of them. Um, it will be quite a hassle to <laughs> get my eating stuff out from there for tonight. That's a lot of stuff. I will also show the front seat for the passenger side. So, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, this is in case we sleep in a tent. Dogs also need a sleeping pad that will give some insulation. I also have a travel battery like this. Um, and I have some miscellaneous stuff there. Toilet paper, uh, there's my toothbrush, easy access, uh, a couple of books. Uh, some food stuff that didn't fit in my main food containers. Nintendo Switch and um, first aid stuff. So let me show you around a bit of my current um, campsite, big parking area. There is also dry toilets and a trash can. There also starts a hiking route, a uh, short hiking route, um, about two miles long, three kilometers um, from the parking spot. We went a bit there and uh, it was so muddy. eating porridge with uh, with some raspberries on it. It's one of those very quick porridges. Um, it's a great <laughs> breakfast. Usually I eat it for breakfast, but this time I didn't feel like making anything else. It's quite chilly outside, so I think we'll <laughs> just go in the car after I've eaten and washed the dishes. I'll watch something funny, maybe work a bit or maybe not. And then hopefully we'll wake up early tomorrow so we can pass the border to Norway. I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm excited.